In my new book entitled In the Name of Women's Rights, I discuss the concept of femonationalism. Femonationalism is a very powerful ideological formation. With this term, which I introduced into the debate, I want to describe the exploitation of feminist themes by right wing nationalist parties. These are parties that have showed concern about gender equality only in the case of Muslim and ethnic minority communities. Femonationalism also describes the endorsement of anti-Islam politics and agendas by some feminists and so-called femocrats. State funds are increasingly withdrawn from policies tackling gender inequality as a general problem and they are put instead into programs aimed at addressing gender inequality amongst Muslim and ethnic minority communities. Particularly they want to teach migrant men what it means to respect women and they want to teach migrant women how to emancipate from their supposedly backward culture. But when we look very, very closely at what these policies are doing, we have actually very different pictures. These migrant women usually are channeled into a very, very specific branch of the economy, which is the social reproductive sector. This means that migrant women, uh, by these policies are asked to become nannies, maids, and these are specifically those gendered roles against the confinement in which feminists have fought in the 1960s and in the 1970s. I think it is important, first of all, that feminists recognize that they don't need to teach Muslim women or non-Western migrant women what emancipation is about. And secondly, I think it is really important that feminists put high on the agenda again the necessity to rethink social reproduction.